I try really hard to lean aggressively on the ground. Uh -huh. The plugs will foul over time, and it's actually uh, saves you a lot of energy, money, and good. Alrighty. Alrighty, sounds good. Alright. And noise canceling is on. Uh, yep. That's what I like. Now, your volume is here. Uh -huh. we, you don't have to touch the inner one. There is no squelch. Yep. It's just, it's all it's all so good it doesn't need it. Yep. Are you familiar with the 345 yes, style? Yes. So right now I'm monitoring 121.5 one one five as well. Five. Our charts are up to date oh, until the 21st. Yep. Okay. 73.8, that's fair enough. This yep. is the one that's got everything. You see the X's go away. I've got a lot of touch screen on here. Nice. On my fuel calculation, we're really at, uh, this is the legitimate fuel. Uh -huh. This is actually based off of a actual used fuel and basically a subtraction. So, this is the real one. These uh -huh. are your gross leak detectors down here. Oh. Right? Uh -huh. I didn't try to, I didn't want to, when I, I installed all, well, not all this. Uh -huh. This I've left the same. I've replaced this. But all the autopilot and the G3X I installed. Nice. All right, let's turn on the recording. And let us go ahead and test everything else. Okay, we're rolling, rolling, rolling. Brake check. Good Thanks, there. Sir. Do a quick left and a right. Over traffic skyline. There we go. Lima, three miles. And we're getting our turn coordination correct as well. Nice. All righty. So now, because I'm going to treat you as if you're Sophie, uh -huh. I'm going to review the stuff I've already done. So I've already done the weight and balance. Uh -huh. Performance is all done. Good. Arrow, we've got we got the double R, which you may yep. not appreciate. Huh. I'm going to check my flight controls. I do them in the hangar as well, oh. but it's quiet because yeah. I can hear if there's something clunking or anything. Oh, yeah. All right, we can just test the flaps real quick. They are going down. Good. Good. That's just that. I can make a, a no-flap landing on this plane with barely any perceptible change to oh, anything. Wow. It's quite effective. I mean, you, you have to go a little faster, but it's... You, Still you, doable, it's yeah. very doable. Both these runways are very long. Yeah. So we're very good. We are full on our fuel quantity. Uh -huh. We're good there. We've got all our engine oil. We're at 10.5 on the engine. Uh -huh. All props good. Exhaust system is good. Pedostatic ports are good. Gears, surface controls, gear, tires, brakes, antennas were all there. There's no chocks, no nope. tow bar on it. Cabin doors are there. We did the walk around. Passenger brief, I think I've talked to you yep. about a few yep. things. Hello. Fuel's on the right tank at the moment. Circuit breakers were in. Alternate static. Let's check it real quick. Yep, there's a movement. We're uh -huh. good. Now, while I'm here, let's just make a quick guess at that based on the field elevation here. Uh -huh. Pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. Yep. All right. Uh, there's a 20-foot disagreement between these. Uh -huh. They can fight as much as they want. I don't care. Uh -huh. Emergency crank I've already checked. The ELT is armed. We're yep. good there. By the way, we'll turn on some floodlights here. See, there. Here we go. They're the ones here. We can turn them on here. Uh-huh. Uh, not really need it. These are the instrument lights, which are really just this. 
this, this and uh, any of the lights on the bar here. Oh, wow. So I'll leave them on for oh, now. Oh, wow, that's nice. So that's uh, pretty pretty sweet. It this is. plane is uh, almost as old as me. My attitude is never fly a plane older than I am. Cow flaps are open. Okay, mixtures, we've got all the start. We've got our flap set and... That's our trim. Take it again. All right, we've got that. We checked the oil pressure alternator. The lights are as required. I'm going to now turn on nav lights so we can't forget them. Yep. And don't need it, but I'll leave. I'm going to turn on the lower landing light just for fun. That's good. Your seatbelt looks good. Mine looks okay. good. We've tested that. Flaps yep. are up. The heat, we verified what we need, but we don't need it. Yep. We're going to get the avionic, avionics on. Let's get the uh, weather real quick while we're here. So I'll go over to here. One good point. Over there. Auburn Municipal Airport Automated Advisory. Wind, calm, temperature 1, 5 Celsius, 2.10 Celsius, altimeter 2, 9, 9, 5. Runway closure April 29th through June 3rd, 2024. Okay, 2995, I was within 1. That's okay. Nice. And calm runway for me here, they don't specify, but I use 3, 4. Yep. Same. And the reason being is that's the only one that has an approach into it. Yes. That's how my logic goes. So. Yes. That's me. All right, I'm going to now switch myself back over here, and I'm going to switch this back for now. Yep. That's okay. So we've got our ADIS ASOS, the altimeter set. The transponder is currently 1,200. We expect to get something different. Yes. ADSB, this is all automatic. It's based off the switch and everything else. So nice. You don't have to ever touch it. Taxi light, no need for that, although I have it on. Brakes, I tested the attitude indicator. Turn coordinator are all built into here. Yep. H-sided compass at the moment. We are 252. To so 253. Yeah, Pretty damn good. That's uh, better than I'm usually expecting. So we're going to go down and do the run up. So good. let's go Let's go do it. That's good. So I do see a traffic on downwind. Yep. So are and, that, and that also confirms our 3 4 yes. now uh, guidance. And by the way, feel free. I appreciate you uh, participating. It's absolutely uh, one thing I do. I may have a few hours in the plane, uh -huh. um, but I'm still learning. Yeah. And you're in. You're getting taught by Sophie. Yes. Which means you're learning really well. She's actually awesome. Yeah, she's a good instructor. She's stunning. I a nice person, but stunning as an instructor as well. Yes. She is. She is nothing short of uh, thorough, uh -huh. and she believes in uh, saving lives. And so, if you have an opinion or you see something that I'm doing that you, you don't understand or don't uh -huh. get, uh -huh. I will not. My pride's in the back of the plane. I've got a jacket back there, and uh -huh. I tuck it in my jacket. Uh -huh. My point is, there's no need for pride. Auburn traffic scouting yep. five with Kalima left base. So, four, you're allowed to tell me I'm full of crap. How's that for fun? Hey, you're doing good so far. No, everything's on point. Everything is clear. Everything makes sense. That's what you think now. Wait for it. We'll get uh -huh. you all messed up soon. The one thing that you can do if you really are careful, I mean, you should be able to do pretty much all your taxiing without without, uh, with without brakes. Yeah. I'm going to do my run-up over here because I'm going to take a little extra time because we're going to be calling up for uh, uh -huh. our, uh, our clearance. Yep. And I don't want to don't want to mess up the uh, the run up area for VFR traffic. Yeah. Turn that off. I always try to make a point of turning off anything that could be shining at anybody trying to land. Uh -huh. Traffic. I have one in here crossing midfield and uh, one thousand five hundred to the watch on for a And of course, if I were going to do my run up right now, I'd feel really bad about cranking out seventeen hundred RPM and when that guy's trying to land. So I'm also very cautious about that. I can wait till them to leave. Yep. So let me just. Over here, do I have this one? Check these notifications. Yes, I do have those. Okay, those are the same. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to actually send this to the map. And then I'm going to send this, go to the flight plan, and send it over to the panel. Runway 316, I do believe. So, sent with issues. Okay, we'll see what happens. This might have some issues with it. Yeah, see, it's going to have, it's going to have no... Um, None of the uh, procedures. It's it, yeah. Let me just put a little more juice here. So one of the things when you're looking at the map, uh -huh. when we're doing procedures, uh -huh. you can go in here, and I can set up the departure. Upper traffic Take a one, with runway clear. three, four, uh -huh. and I'll load that one. Yeah. And then when we get, and then you go back, for whatever reason, it doesn't go back properly. Uh -huh. I've, you can go here to see your procedures as well. Yes. Get to that, and you can go back. Yep. 
I can go over here, and if they give me the arrival, I can go Maddie 5, paint okay. transition, if I want to change it. Oh, that's the only one they have. So, one. so we can choose that's the runway. And then you get, and then uh, choose the runway, right? Which I expect. We'll wait until they give it to us. Uh huh. But anyway, so that's it. And the charts are available on this as well. Yeah. Nice. Alrighty. Okay. So let's go through. All right. As far as I'm concerned, we have things set up at the moment. Um, I've reviewed the charts, by the way, in advance. Let me let me just make sure it's loaded up before I go. I've got. Uh, yeah, we're good time to we can run the engine but sure. uh, oops uh, yeah, we've got plenty of time it's only yep. oh short. yeah yeah I am a bit of an efficiency person uh. which is a dumb thing to be when you're in an airplane because it really matters that you're actually um, accurate yep more than efficient yes in this case there's probably a case where it matters but Anyway, so I'm going to just put the De Blake 01 departure. I usually like to have it available on my plates. And this is going to be a 342 climb out to 600, then direct to uh, Blaco. Blaco, you got to be at or above 6,000 before you go on, and you yep. can hold there. Yep. We won't make it to Blaco. No. In this particular, if we lost communications right off the, uh, the runway, no. it's VFR conditions, we're done. We're just going to return to the plane. Yep. We're squawk 1,200, and we're coming Back down. down. Yep. And if we want to, we could squawk 7,600 yes. and just say, hey, that's it. We've lost I'll communications. Come, come four, five, one, do that run okay. Three, four, All right, so let's go through the, uh, I'm going to go through it by memory, and we'll see what we've got. Sure. All right. So we're going to go up to 1,700 RPM with full mixture, full prop forward. There's a helicopter there, but let's see where he's going. Put one in. Okay, that went up, that went down. Low pressure went down. Yeah. Oh, he's... We're going out of the base, base to final yeah. traffic. So, all right, need one more of those to go. We're at 1,700. One, turn close. One more. This goes up, this goes, goes down, down, that goes down. That's correct. All right, back up. No, no danger to that guy. Left, running smooth, and Drop. the EGTs go up. There comes back. EGTs go back down. Right goes down, Same running thing. smooth and going up. Idle check. Hands off. Some people don't actually uh, let it get down to idle. Oh wow! It's important to do that. Yes. And I like to pull back. I like to get it back to uh, running quite lean. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, it's a it's an odd thing. All right, so the plane is ready to go physically. Yes. I'm happy with that. I feel good about that. I've got everything I need here. I'm going to now check my run-up. Fuel is on the proper tank. Yes, it's still on the right. I'll Electric tank. I've, I've, I've started two, adding it. Three, four. I'll just to show that it disconnects, but yep. if it doesn't, there's uh, autopilot and pitch trimmer over here. Okay. So, you know, I can, I can tell that it's off. Okay, we don't really, I already checked the lights when I, uh, when I do the pre-flight, yes. so, and that was already on. Yep. Alrighty, so flight controls already did, instruments are good, we've got the uh, altimeter set correctly at this point, we did the best power, and we did 1700, we did the mag check, did prop cycle, the amps and volts are still good, and we're still, we barely, we never get above one yep. on this plane, it's like, okay. you, you have to lose your alternator for that. Huh. Fuel flow is good. Oh, pressure's good, oil temperature's good, we did an idle temperature, idle check, and we did friction lock. Just so we're ready for takeoff, yep. we're not, there's a, no flaps. No flaps. Full power, everything. So everything's forward full down forward here. Ahead. Right? And the uh, fuel pump is never on in this. It's like, unlike other low wings where you put on a fuel pump, uh -huh. you never put it on except for starting or in emergencies. Uh -huh. Pedo heat as required. Pedo heat is here, should we need it. Heading bug will be set to 342. So why don't I go ahead and set it? go. Doors and windows. These are closed. Those are closed. I'll give it one more push. We're good. The landing light will be on, and I'll switch these off. They're both, everything on this is 
pretty much everything is now LED anyway, so nice. it doesn't take anything. All right. And full throttle, 2700. We're looking for 70 on rotate. We'll be checking oil pressure. And then we're going to gear up as soon as practical. Because there, if anything goes wrong, we land on our belly. I don't, I don't, the insurance owns the plane if the engine fails on takeoff. Yep. This does not do an impossible turn, by the way. Just, oh. So that's kind of an important thing. Telephone's on here. Let me bring up my four flight. And. We'll do our craft. Yeah, I know you can do it on here, but the, just find this is just as easy and it stays more steady. But yeah, yeah. Who am I? <laughs> it's just all right. We are going to be going S50 to Bellingham, and we're off runway three four. We expect so we're going to be cleared to Bellingham. We expect the Blake O one, which I'm going to pre-write. Our altitude, I believe I filed for 6,000. 6, We're going to see what they're going to give us. Okay. Frequency, I'm going to guess it's 119.2. One, uh -huh. The alternative is 123.85. We'll see. They're going to give me one of those. Yep. Then eventually, I expect an as filed. So that's what I think is going to set us up. What could go wrong? All right. So going over to our maps, pulling it up. And go up to clearance delivery. Now the question will be, call it, and I should be able to Bluetooth to my headset. Oh, no, there it is. Good. Head approach. Hey, good evening. It's uh, Bonanza, 7542 November. We're on the ground at Sierra 50. I'd like to pick up our IFR clearance to Bellingham, Bravo, Lima, India, and we'll be departing runway 34. And we're three, four, okay, stand by. Thank you. Sometimes I forget. It um, makes it very difficult to hear them sometimes when somebody else is calling in. Yeah. Okay, Bonanza 7542 November. Just to understand you're ready to go at this time. Ready to go off runway 34, sir. Okay, hang on a second. UPS 91 heavy departure, we're in contact, call and maintain 4000. Okay, November 4th, November, you're cleared from Auburn to Bellingham via the Blaco 1 departure. Blaco has filed, call and maintain, uh, call and maintain 3000. Expect 6000 as the final. Departure frequency will be 119.2, squawk 6602, and hold for a release. Uh, Bonanza 7542 November is cleared to the Bellingham Airport via the Blaco 1 departure, then as filed. Climb to 3000, expect 6000 as the final. Frequency is 119.2 and 6602 on the squawk. Hold for release. We're 14 November, reback is correct. Release for departure at this time. Clearance 14 five minutes. If not, in five minutes. Call me back with further intentions. All right, cleared uh, to depart and clear uh, void in five minutes. Yes, Seven, sir. Seven five four two November. Thank you very much. Right. Too soon. Bye. Bye. Okay. All right. So first things first. Let's like, get these all set up. One one nine two. We're ready there, and over here, it's just as easy to do it here, yep. 6602, 6602, enter, 6602, 119.2, yep. we're going to do 3,000, we'll bug that, we're flying the Blake 01, so we've bugged the uh, 342, yep. so we're good there, and then as filed, and then here after the Blake 01, we have... Bellingham, which is actually not correct. We need to insert before that because what I filed now that I should now that I think about it, flights I filed, yeah, pain and then Maddie four. So insert before P, the pain VOR. 
then we can do that. Okay. That's just just in case. It's going to keep us from getting into any trouble. Yes. All righty. So we're good there. I believe we're ready. All right. What do you think? Everything's good. Uh, no one in the pattern. There's a except the helicopter. That, yep. And that's the other thing. Turning the helicopter. Getting on the right. Uh, the right one there. All right. We've got till 7:50 a uh, 38. So yep. we got Actually, 37. Plenty of time. Is way high. Righty. And by half the runway, we will be more than at 70 to 70 knots uh -huh. for our takeoff. Anything after, anything less, and we will abort the takeoff. Sounds good. All right, you got eyes on the helicopter? Yep, yeah, they're still on the runway. All right, he's going to take off pretty quick. Okay, well, no, he's going to land first. One vertical. Oh, oh. Yep. Auburn traffic, Bonanza 4 to November, holding short runway 34. Auburn. That's just a polite way, because I've been here before when those helicopters are just dangling. It's... Uh, like just hovering over there. I mean, the I, I get it. I mean, you know, I'm I'm totally cool with them there. They got a right to be here too. Yeah. But I don't like trading paint with anybody. We we got time still. Yep. Yep. We're in good shape. Great. He's still down there. Still there. Yeah. I don't think they did an auto rotation. No. So. Alright, got the lights on. We definitely got the transponder on, so we're all good there. There he's going. Yeah, they're moving. He's gonna take a he's gonna do a crosswind pretty quick, I think. I assume so. We're on the right comm radio. Uh -huh. On 121.5. Yep. There. Nobody there. He's the only one I see on the ADSB. Only yep. buddy I heard on the thing. I will catch him if he doesn't turn soon, so I need to wait a little bit longer. <laughs> I, don't know what, I think they try to... Uh, I don't know what they have to go to. Um... Turning out. There we go. Okay. Auburn traffic. Bonanza 4 to November. Departing runway 34 with an east turnout. Auburn. Okay. Mixture full rich. Props full forward. We're good there. And make verified again the uh, the trim. That's a big deal on a plane like this one. Uh -huh. It will. It will make a mess of your day. Yep. Trim is trim. We also don't do touch and goes in a Bonanza. Oh. Okay. Birds are clear. All righty. Okay, watching our oil pressure. Oil pressure's good, oil temperature's good. Our PM is up and our instruments are on the green. Airspeed is alive. There's 60 knots right there. And we're just about to 70 and there it is. Well before that halfway point. Oh. There we go, and gear's coming up. We're good all through. All right, flying 342. Okay, gear is up. I heard it. Yep. We're pitching for VY, which is pretty good, right about there. Nice. Looking for 600 feet on the 342. Ready? I just realized I got lots of vents open. There's one there at the bottom for you if you want to turn it off. All right, there's 600 feet. Now we're going to go. You're the eyes out the outside. Yes. That way you're earning your keep. Yes. All right, you're going to switch. Departure Bonanza 7542 November 1000 for 3000 off Auburn. Bonanza 7542 November Seattle departure identum. And where's my ident on this one? Oh, it's right over there. November 7, November 14 November, letter contact a mile northeast of Auburn altimeter 290, 906, maintain 3000. 
Maintain 3,000, 299 or 6, and position checks for 2 November. UPS 987, connect to center 127.05. 2705. See you again. UPS 987, connect. Nice back. Southwest 526, proceed direct normie. Normie, Southwest 526. Now I'm going to turn on the autopilot. November 4, 2 November, come and maintain 5,000. 5,000, 4, 2 November. November 4, 2 November, come and maintain 5,000. 5,000, 4, 2 November. I press the autopilot disconnect. Uh -huh. There we got that. Torture, good evening, show 30, All right. 90, vertical speed. Yeah, I'm using vertical speed on this. Yeah, we're gonna, 36, 90, we're gonna yeah, I'm going to drop it. We don't 5, need to do that fast. I'm going to protect my airspeed with this. Uh -huh. All right, I'm going to dial back this because we, we don't need probably 2,600 is the uh, climb. I'm going to pull the power back a bit. Yeah, we're cli climbing a lot. We are. We are 526, I'm going to maintain 15,000. And I want to pull. Pull that power back. Want to get to November? Turn left, heading three six zero. Three six zero. Four to November. Heading left, three six zero. Left three six zero to five thousand at this point. Yep. All right, we're heading vertical speed, and we're watching our airspeed. That's my big concern. Uh -huh. That's what, November zero five, Juliet. Traffic that's what call gives call me the willies at all times. Two thousand through uh, two thousand. I'm pulling back a little bit on the uh, the mixture uh -huh. and turning in the pro uh, turning in the power to keep the uh, keep things up. And I'll probably drop this down. We don't need to be doing that much. Again, biggest thing you can do indicated airspeed, yep. but I need to now. I can start dropping it down because I at this point, like if I do indicated airspeed. I'll drop it. I find the autopilot's not very good with it, uh -huh. and the climb speed for this is about 110. Uh -huh. Which you watch it seek. It's going to seek and do a little stuff. It just seems a little aggressive. Uh -huh. and I think I'm going to do this real quick. One more thing that was going to let in a lot of cold air on us. Anyway, yeah, the thing at the bottom there. That's it's a close. rotating. Yep. There you go. All right. Flaps are still open. We're still on the climb. We're doing 25.50 in the climb. Uh -huh. Keep that in there. I'm going to pull back a little bit. So this is the way to properly do a climb. I mean, if you, if you think about it, doing an airspeed climb means you can't stall out. The autopilot won't let you stall out either because it's got a, a protection package that'll drop the nose if it starts to feel get below a certain point. Yes. Like if I want to do private pilot. 4-2 November, come and maintain 6,000. 6,000, 4 to November. If I wanted to, um, uh, oh yeah, if I want to go out and do private pilot maneuvers, uh -huh. I have to turn off the ESP, the protection package. Oh, wow, interesting. Because I can't do steep turns, I can't, I can't do stalls. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, yeah. I did my uh, flight review with Sophie, and I had to remember to turn the damn thing off. I uh -huh. totally forgot, and I'm laughing. <laughs> we can't stall this thing. <laughs> Turn this up a little bit, maybe. We'll see. All righty. Nice. We're climbing for, for six. There's 48 for six. Now, most likely, they're going to give us... We haven't been given anything other than... Um, There's altitude and heading. Yep. Yeah, we got altitude and heading. But um, the only thing that's in that flight plan... We do have the Maddie 5, but we haven't, November one, two, zero, we haven't five, cleared for it, so it is going to happen, but I put in pain, which is a requirement. Yep. Skywest 3698, contact oh. approach, I'm sorry, contact the center, 134.95. All right. 3495, uh, 3698, good night. Putting in more throttle, we're going to max out here. I always like to have this page here uh -huh. because I can. The big thing you want to do is not go over 380. Uh -huh. uh, you want to start reacting at 380. Uh -huh. so there's the clouds that are all hanging over yeah. the mountains that they yeah. said. All right, coming up 200 feet. 
to the three six thousand mark. Uh -huh. Okay, and I got the two nine nine or six in that they gave us. Yep. Most important at the point where you're getting two in altitude. Uh huh. Okay. And now do my cruise checklist. You can tell Kurt, Sophie I did that. I don't think I've ever done a cruise checklist in a while. I'm going to set the throttle prop and mixture real quick. So I'm going to do about 22 inches, uh -huh. which is going to be perfect for our flying. It's going to give us, I'd like to get it closer to 65%. Uh, uh -huh. I'm going to drop the prop down to about 2,400. 24, you can go to 2,300. You look at the, these charts actually have engine uh, performance uh -huh. numbers on them. Yeah. And 2,390 is very close. Now let's see if I can get it leaned out. About 12, 11. There we go. See, it's just starting to feel rough. I'll just go back in uh -huh. so it's smooth. That would be lean and peak for me. 2,000 climbing, 7,000. So right now we're doing 11.9. I'm going to do about 12 oh. and a half. Just because that will get us decent. 35 departure, yeah. to contact, climb and maintain 8,000. I feel comfortable with that. 8, I'm going to put in the cowl flaps at this point, yep. which is part of it. And the instruments are good, and the fuel is going to stay on the right tank till uh -huh. just before. Uh -huh. We're good. I put that there. Even going to put on my lamp because I can see now that I'm going to need it for for just being able to read my checklist. There we go. And I can turn it on. There we go. There. I'm not just. So we're good there. We've done our, our in-flight check. Uh -huh. We're now happy. We're fuel consumption's pretty yes. good. Everything's good here. Could yes. go a little faster with that. But we're at 65% power, which is a very affordable flight at that uh -huh. point. Uh -huh. And everything's holding here. Oil and fuel, all good. Fuel calculation, we're good there. I'm going to now hit back and go back into sort of more situational thing. Uh -huh. So we're not doing Blaco. We're not doing anything. We're doing. We're on a vector at the moment. Yes. Most likely, we're going to get pain direct. Uh -huh. So I'm going to do that. Not going to do anything. We're on a heading. Yes. But it gives me the ability to hit direct again and hit the confirm, then and hit the nav. Yep. Nice. Another thing to do when you are on nav, uh -huh. if you're not on heading, always sync your heading bug to pretty close to where you are. Because uh -huh. if you frequently sync it, then what happens is you may or may not get a, a deviation or some, or some other heading you need to do. Uh -huh. And, you know, it might be very useful for you. Yeah, yeah, so. go ahead. November 4 to November turnoff, heading 340 on kind of approach on um, 123.9er. Three, left 340 and 123.9er, 4 to November. Delta 1735. Left 340. Normie on course and expect higher in about 4 miles. Okay, 340 and 23.9. 239 and transfer. Good evening, approach Bonanza 7542 November 6000, heading 340. 7542 November, Seattle approach, Seattle 72996. 9996, thank you. Yeah, 3688, just going to maintain 8000. So maintain 8000, Scott, 3688. Six Fox right, Fox right. You're one three miles from Martin. Turn left in zero one zero. Maintain two thousand for thousand Clear Alice one eight three four approach. All right. Doing two point twelve point two on the uh, fuel consumption. Uh huh. Twenty three eighty, and it's registering sixty six percent power, which is great. And right now our true airspeed is one hundred and sixty. Nice. Which at twelve point two gallons per hour. Sir, nine or six, three, tango, my credit service. What do you want? Yeah, yeah, same yeah. VFR, same supervisor. Have a good night. All right, so let's start setting up for uh, our ATIS over in Bellingham. So 134, 45. 134, 45. Okay. Okay. You should be able to hear it now, but I'll turn that off for now. This means it's stereo, by the way. Ground will be 127.4. We do not need that at the moment. Yep. But 124.9. And traffic pattern over there is 16 and, uh, or is that 1,200 feet? So now let me go over here. I've got the wrong airport in my full. 
Yeah, about 1,200 feet. Yep. I always round up. I figure it's better to be a little higher. Yeah, a little, 36, a little lower. This could be me. Approach on one, three, three, okay, six, full five, screen. Eight. I'm going to get the procedure. I'm going to load the Maddy 4 into my... Uh, uh, not the approach, the arrival. Maddy 5. So it's loaded there in case uh -huh. they give it to us. Right now... Number 6, Fox Route, Fox Route, after the approach, execute the punishment. So, if for any reason we don't, before we get to pain, get given, like, that we're going to be on the Maddie 5, uh -huh. I will clarify what they expect. Okay. Because, as far as I'm concerned... Going two zero five, Juliet. I gave uh, them, them uh, big code gave them that. They should be telling us direct pain at this point. Yep. I'm going to uh, airspace. Yeah, we're airspace. I'm going to load the Mad Maddie 5 just in case. Because that pain, runway, and it's runway 16. But for them to tell me that, they, have, for my to, they have to give me the, um, the runway as well. Yes. Let me just, let's see, we are 17, what, from pain, 15. Approach uh, 754 to November. Can we expect the Maddie 5 arrival? 754 to November. I got you pain, Maddie, uh, Bellingham. I, I expect direct pain here. Or actually, I expect direct to Maddie shortly. I just got to keep you east of the arrival, Seattle downwind of Maddie uh, and the Maddie 5 here shortly. All right, we'll expect the Maddie 5 and direct to Maddie. Thank you. Fort November. Oh. So. Correct. Okay. But that's clarified. They're expecting us on the Matty 5. Yes. That's, it never hurts to know yes. what they are expecting. Uh -huh. This is my thinking. So I do have the plate there. We're going to go direct to Matty. I don't believe they're going to give us any type of any altitude clearance on it. We won't be cleared uh, to descend via. We'll be cleared via the Maddie 5. Okay. There's, do you know the distinction between those? Yeah. Yeah, because that part just freaks it me is out. Different, yeah. Mike, do it for that traffic. Turn right heading. Lots of entertainment. Down. Yes. Anyway, so I don't expect that, but Maddie Maddie de Gerd is loaded at this point. Yep. Let's see if we can get the ATIS at this at this point as well. Approach Manavec 890 with Galpha Taylor 1000 with uh, Victor. No. Too far off, yeah. Too far, yeah. Fort Mike Zulu, uh, Clear Ridge Approach running one six right at Payne. Yeah. Medivac 890 Whiskey Alpha Central Approach, advise Victor, Bowen L7290906. Some days you just gotta check it out. All right. Zero Whiskey Alpha Flighting 250, Vector's final, I'm gonna maintain 8000. 250. Let's see if it did okay on that. Yeah, my life. No, 42 November, Clear to Matty for the Matty uh, arrival. Uh, direct Maddie for the Maddie 5 arrival, 4th of November. So direct, direct, nav. Nice. There we go. We'll do a do another one now. Yeah, no For Mike Zulu, contact point nine five. Good day. All right, and let me do wide angle. What the heck? All right. There we go. I give up. It's too dark. I'm not going to hold it. Wait for it. I don't have that level of patience. So we do have a. We did take a few before. Yeah, we did that's it. okay. That should work. Yeah. Wow. Kind of nice out at night. Very nice. Nice and calm and it, quiet. It, it is. thing that's cool about the system is I now know that we've got a quartering tailwind from yep. the uh, left. Yes. Which is neat. Let's see. The descent will be setting the throttle, mixture, and fuel. Cow flaps are starting to stay closed. ATIS we have to get. The altimeter instruments we've got to get. Pre-landing. I'll do a quick brake check now, but we've got compression. Put the landing lights on. We'll do the gums check is basically what we're going to be doing here. Uh -huh. That's good. And it's 76 across the fence uh -huh. is the big thing with full flaps in yep. this plane. Yep. And the go around is full power, and then pull the gear up, pull the flaps up, and make sure you don't stall. Yes. Uh, considered a faux pas. You 
usually I go out and practice these, and I go missed all the time, so I get a whole bunch of go-around practice. Uh -huh. I just I just wanted to go flying tonight, and I thought I like the IFR system. Yes. Because over seven five, uh, Christian, over seven five four two November contact. Would we approach on one two zero point seven? Have a good day. One two zero point seven for Fortune November. Good day. Two zero seven transfer. Confirm it shows it approached. Good. Good evening, would be approached. Bonanza 7542 November, level 6000. Bonanza 7524 November, would be approached. We'll be altimeter 2995. 995, 42 November. He screwed up my call sign. Are you okay? Uh, hey, right, we are, we are. 92 echo. We are on GERD. Three echo tango radar. GERD, Yukai, which is great because GERD, Yukai is what's required. Uh-huh. All right. Then Yano and then Vectors. So, okay. Uh, Nine, three, echo I buy it. We are not going to need to do those, but those are, in fact, correct. Yes. Good, and then 4,000, yep. yep, and then 2,000. Yep. Got it. I buy it. All right, so we're good there. Yes. I'm expecting, I'm going to ask for the r of Yankee. Right, so the r of Yankee, 1-6, and I'm going to load this approach. It's not going to do anything yet, but we'll have to remember to activate it. Yes. November 4 to November, receive direct GERD at GERD, join the MADI 5 arrival, except maintain 6,000 after GERD. Direct GERD and join the MADI 5 arrival and maintain 6,000, 4 to November. Okay, we're going to go direct GERD now. Yes. Which is okay. It's still on the MADI 5. Five, five, we're doing one, Ukai at this point. Two, so we're doing five, everything two, there. Zero, one, and one, he one, said two, maintain, nine, except five, maintain 6,000. We're there now. So that, that jives with everything we want. Yep. So we direct GERD at 6,000 is definitely within the range. So. Phoenix 551, radar contact, three miles northeast. Let's, let's see if we can get out and maintain five, VFR five, to the six mile initial runway 25. Close, but not there yet. Yep. And GERD. See where we are. So there's Everett, there's Maddie. Oh yeah, we're ways way. Yeah, we're a ways off. Because from Maddie to Gerd is 18 miles, so we're not ain't happening yet. That's okay. Yep. But we're still cooking along, doing a great deal. Birds flying well. Yes, 70 sets. Ready to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull a little heat on because I don't know about you, but it's getting a little. Yeah, it's getting colder. Getting yeah. crisp, and it's all about being comfortable. And yeah. by the way, if you feel yourself being cold, pull on some more. Uh, yeah. You are allowed to offer. <laughs> all right. Phoenix five five one cross the two five initial at three thousand. If we look in here, would be approach is our approach, so we can now start by loading in 124.9 for our tower. And I'm going to use the find function because it comes off the flight plan, and I go here, and we definitely 24.9. There's no question, so and it's double checked there as well. Yep, yep. So we're good there. Yes. I like to check back here every so often. There's not much to do right now. I mean, yeah. the autopilot's got it all, but yes. looking at the fuel we've used, making sure that it jives with what I'd expect. Yep. You can see our, our time, if we needed to really make this fuel last, uh -huh. we've got all the indicators for it. 551 contact tower. So we would be able to fly for a long time. Yes. You and I would have bladder trouble. Yeah, we could do this multiple approaches. So just to confirm, the runway 16, it's a vectors to final off of, off of the Yano, which is okay. There is no missed approach, but if we do lose comms, it's actually kind of weird on this one, because they get you to go and they just say, go and hold. So just, it's an odd one. So proceed to Yano, maintain 2000, and then go to tech view and uh, tech to Kuv and hold. 
not mine to know, but... All right, I'm going to start by getting ready for the ILS 16 Yankee. Dump, we got a long receive going on here. There we go. Yep. I don't know what that was about. Go the distance. You know on these radios, the big squelch, you just pull no, the volume? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Dollar temps are in beautiful range right now, so we're good there. Put that away. I could, I could actually bring the fuel consumption down a little bit, and it would uh, it'll give up a little bit of our uh, true airspeed. Uh -huh. But, um, and what will happen, you... It's interesting. You'll actually see that we can get about 15, 1,500 for our um, EGTs fairly easily. That's not a not a, a big issue. It's the cylinder head temperature you worry about. Oh, um, yeah. That's that's the thing. Yes. No visible moisture. Nope. And I always leave. I'll leave this upper landing light on uh -huh. uh, when I'm flying because it's just added recognition and yes. it's an LED. You can kind of see we do have some kind of low level. Yep. There's some some sort of a uh, yeah. Clag to the to the west and to the north. Yeah. Yep. And this is the area where they were talking about it more when we were coming back. It might have a chance of forming here. Oh. Now if we get here and we can't make it, or if something were to happen, we will just go back. Yeah. Yeah. I, the idea of making a landing here means it's a cross country check. Yes. And I get to do a legitimate straight IFR. Um, just IFR. Uh, trip. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, as I say, it's so much different. If you're in training, you don't get this time to just think about things. Yes. So, we are 30 miles from GERD. And GERD is quite a distance from. Then there's another 11 miles beyond that. But we're about 40 miles away. All at 40 miles. Uh -huh. But, it'll be okay. see some uh, the remnants of the cumulo granite over there yes always something to avoid yep. yeah it's amazing I did pull a little bit of the fuel back uh -huh. and it's now 158 ground speed 156 up here but on the true airspeed but not bad. Not bad at all. So I filed for 150, and it's 156. Uh -huh. near three echo tanker, at what point would I actually three. have to uh, tell them that uh, if I've gone, if I'm faster or slower? Going on like over certain speed. If I if I filed for 150, uh -huh. and I there's a point where if you're faster than your 150, your yeah. planned speed, or slower, what's the margin you have to? At what point do you need to tell air traffic control you're making better time? Plus 10 or minus 10? Percent. Percent? Yeah. Oh. I believe it's percent. It's about 50. No, it's possibly 10. I, I know it and this one is 10, but yeah. Oh. I would do it at 10, but yeah. And you're probably right, it's probably 10. The point is, if you go back in a non-radar world, uh -huh. there, which used to be the yeah. way it was, yeah. they, had to, they were timing everything to make sure they didn't have two people going the wrong place wow. or the same place at the same time. Wow. They couldn't tell if somebody was going to overtake another person. Yeah. So in a radar environment, we don't really think about this much at all. Oh. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. Whidbey over there. If anything happened, we couldn't make Whidbey. We couldn't make Skagit, but there's a uh, private runway right below us called Sunset. Then there's Kamano, which is ding dang do skinny and short. Oh no. It is skinny and short. I would be very, I wouldn't enjoy it. But Skagit's coming close. All right, the uh, tower is open till 10.30, so uh -huh. we don't expect to have to do pilot-controlled lighting here. Yep. 
We're good there. Yep. We got that set up. We are ready here. Yep. I'm going to put in my uh, ground con frequency of 127.4, uh -huh. which should be okay. And we'll have it on there. We just flip it here and yep. flip over here. Yep. Let's see if we can get it now. One six. Visual approach in east. Traffic flow program in effect for Seattle to come International Airport. Advise on the next contact. Yeah, Quebec. Bellingham International Airport at Mission, Quebec. Zero two five three two observation. Wind calm. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Blow one two thousand. Temperature nine or two point seven. Altimeter two nine or nine or two. Landing departing runway one six. Visual approach in east. Traffic flow program and effect for TL. Well, 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 well. We have it. We have it. Approach Bonanza 7542 in November. We have Quebec at Bellingham, and we'd like to make sure we get the uh, RNAV 16 Yankee if possible. And uh, 42 November, you make that request for the next controller. Thank you, 42 November. There's a next controller. No! Oh. Oh well. Next controller, if as we're gonna guess. Yeah. Guess it's gonna be 132.7. I'm just gonna do a guess here. 327. Believe Victoria. Oh, and I know I just I realize why. We're going north and we're getting into Canadian airspace when we do this full approach. Oh right, yeah. Yeah. That's the reason. If we were going into runway 34, that'd be uh, the deal. And the 42 November traffic, 11 o'clock, 4 miles southeast on type unknown altitude, Cape 2000. 42 November, we're looking for the traffic. Do we see them on our map as well? Yeah, I think we do. So they're coming off of Bellingham. So they're just Beautiful. below us. There's the Bellingham Airport. They are way below us, but they're coming up quick. I think there's something, 11 o'clock, like there's a, 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 a I see the light. I think that's the uh, airport beacon. No, I think I had the traffic inside. Well, oh. 11 o'clock. Oh, yeah, we got it. That's yep. right. 14 November, we have the traffic. 14 November, rather. Good, good eyes. You earned your, uh, your safety pilot. Yeah, it's the first time, so. Yeah, actually, finding them at night is really pretty cool. I love having them on ADSB as well, because it's actually given me a positive confirmation, and they even turned away from our route. So. Yes. And of course, we have it in here too. Yep. There we go. Just right there. And I actually, uh, they'll show up on here if they're anywhere within the field of forward vision. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh. But this is. I'm spoiled. Seriously. That is I, the. That's like so nice for a instrument. But. I I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. Phoenix 500 with the approach, ident, Deuteronomy 25, wind 21013, altimeter 2995. Phoenix 500 radar contact, three I'm not going to switch tanks just yet. 1,500 range VFR to the 6 mile initial runway 25. So, we just got Quebec. Yep. Do you know when uh, the next one comes up? Around now. No, it'll, it usually comes up at about 53 to 57 to the hour. Uh-huh. Now, the, and of course, there could be a special change yeah. if something was interesting. Yeah. Remember, three Echo Tango radar. Well, I, like to, I do like to check it every so often, but we're a ways off. We're still off from GERD. And the 4 to November, contact Victoria Terminal 132.7. 32.7, 4 to November. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. 327, as I thought. Yeah. Good evening, Victoria Approach, Bonanza 7542 November, level 6000. 7542 November, Victoria Terminal, runway 16, altimeter 2992, information Papa. 2992, and we head Quebec, we'll pick up Papa, 42 November. I believe Quebec comes after Papa in the alphabet, so I'm probably just wrong on my end. <laughs> I thought so too, but I wasn't going to risk it. 
it happens often. Uh, also, can we uh, request the RNAV 16 Yankee? Fortune number, you sure can. Proceed direct to Yano and descend to 5,000. Expect vectors near Yano. Uh, direct Yano and down to 5,000 for Fortune November for vectors. Roger. All right, so we're going direct Yano. Uh -huh. for Confirm there. Right, okay. Down to 5,000 and we'll begin a descent. Vertical speed in this case is very easy. Makes sense. Yano's 24 off, so if I don't do anything, she's gonna she's gonna get up to some screaming speeds. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna pull it back a bit because if I, every inch of man if I wanted to, I could have descended if I was not on the autopilot. Uh -huh. Every inch of manifold pressure will drop you 100 feet per minute oh, wow. in this plane. Wow. It's pretty sweet. Quite precise, yeah. Yeah, it's very predictable. And as a matter of fact, there's a uh, Bonanza Society has a thing where they um, they call it uh, pack. What is it? Power attitude configuration. Anyway, point is, by the numbers, uh -huh. this plane will do everything by the numbers, uh -huh. which is kind of cool. It is, um, and it's predictable. Yes. So the big thing about descending on the uh, autopilot is when I do get down to that altitude, uh, things to think about are putting in the fuel, putting in the throttle again, and then. Adjusting my fuel flow. Yes. We are direct Yano, and there's 5,000. Let's dial it back into 2,200. By the way, the outside air temperature where we were was 5, and when we go back at 7,000, it's expected to still be plus 1 centigrade. Oh, oh. So it's a positive for us on that one. Okay, we're direct Yano, and just to confirm, Yano is yeah, vectors. Yes. So we're good there. The approach is loaded, so at some point we'll find out what it is. We can activate it, and it'll be activate vectors to final. Uh -huh. So that's fine. We're going to wait till we're confirmed on that. The big thing on this plane is making sure we bring it back down. We get it under under control speed-wise as well, uh, yeah. because it's actually now they're gonna they're gonna take us quite a distance out, and that's one of those things you just want to take, keep in mind. This one I said put the iron uh, put it on that. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Let's say where the hell put on the map. The reason is they're going to put us out quite a distance uh -huh. for vectors, I think. Uh, well, maybe not so bad. It's not too. I just remember previous times going for a bloody distance, like oh, going wow. Canadian sightseeing and everything oh, else. Yeah. So the airport should be right in here. That's right. By the way, 24.9 is our. Let's put that in here now again. Okay, confirmed for Bellingham there. Yes. We're confirmed there. We have the have the ground there as well. All right, and the airport that I believe is it. Now the notums notums have the um, the lights, the Pappy and everything else. I think much of them, most of them are out. I think three, four of the rels are out, but Pappy. So any of the slope guidance is out on the um, on one six. Victoria. So the Romeo identified, climb to 4,500 right here. Clearly going over a, a border between water and land, I guess. Let's slow it down just Fort to November, descend to 4,000. 4,000, Fort to November. All right, vertical speed, back down, do 500, and I'll pull the power back. I believe that's the airport site. That is the airport. And just to, just in case, uh, I did note that 1-6 is right traffic. Not that it matters for us today. Oh, good to know. But it's a point in time. Yeah. Go down a little faster. 600 feet. Here's still direct Yano. 
and you watch when we land, they're going to, they, Bellingham Tower is going to know that we're going back, and they're going to offer to give us our clearance already. Oh. I did this once a, a few years back, and I was surprised. I said, oh, do you want your clearance? <laughs> but just a minute, I wanted to eat a, wanted to eat a, uh, an energy bar or something. I forgot what I was doing, but it was, anyway. Okay, 45 for four. But I, the, again, the reason I wanted to do this it, is the pace, do you find the pace a lot different it than is. training? It is. This to me is important because it's real, this is real life. It is real, yeah. And it's it's not, it's just, you get a chance to think ahead, and I'm, spe I'm speaking out loud yes. because that's what I do. Yes. Right. Fort to November to send 3,000. 3,000, Fort to November. 3,000. Gonna start the drop a little bit, a little bit more stout. Now it's time to brief that plate too before we get anywhere. So the vector is the final. They're going to be bringing us in most likely because it's Rugata's final uh -huh. final approach. So I expect them to get us down to 2,000 at that point. So. Nothing in the notes is going to cause us any grief. We're, yep. We are both compensated, but the temperatures are not there. Yep. No issue with RBR at this point. Missed approach has climbed to 700, then a right turn to 2,000, direct tech to Kuv and hold. Okay, we got the ATIS already. We're on, the, we're on with approach, yep. and we've got 124.9 set up ready. Ground is 24.7 right there, and Unicom is uninteresting for us. Approach inbound course is going to be 164, and we should be coming in and catching at 2,000, and our minimum is going to be 363. So if I go to the menu here, set my min, 363. Enter, and now the minimum is going to be uh, barred for us. It's yep. going to be uh, Golf for the Yankee Golf Victoria Terminal. All right, so we're going down to 363. And that is good. The one notum is going to be uh, the ILS, right? Approaching, uh, that was the uh, radio altimeter one. Okay. All right. So we're good there. Charlie Yankee Golf identified 4,500 via Cherry Point and East Point approved. Vertical track's alive, but we are not going to do that. We are going to stop and capture 3,000. So that, that visual track at this point is based off of the um, the, the Matty 5, uh -huh. and we are no longer, we are not on that yep. at this point. Yep. So we've achieved the uh, end goal. Yes. We are 4.9 from Yano. And we'll expect vectors. I'm going to resync the heading bug again. 4 2 November, vectors to final, fly heading 340, descent 2000. 340 down to 2000 for Fortune November. 320, excuse me, 320, heading and down to 2000. Vertical speed down. 320 and down to 2000. And I'm going to activate vectors to final at this point. Yep. Vectors to final. We are no longer using the nav function at this point. We're good. We have not been cleared no. for it. That's the most important part to remember. We do not hit the approach button until we're cleared. Yes. It's a common misconception. I know we will be. Now, let's see, based on where we are, we're five from Rugat. I'm going to start slowing us down because I put in a bit more prop. 4 November, turn right heading 360. Right, 360, 4 to November. Starting to, starting to get us set up, so I need to get slowed down. So I'm going to start putting in the prop. Put in a, my... Uh, bit there, and pulling the power out. We can feel it slowing down. Gonna take when we level out it's gonna finally take off the speed, but uh -huh. it's gonna take it's gonna take that to get it out. Yep. And we got Wu got and then down to runway sixteen runway one six. And we got three six three bug yep. and a straight out seven hundred right turn to um, whatever it's called, seg uh, keep tech to coove and a hold, and that's all correct uh -huh. and that's accurate. Okay, and it's slowing down nicely. I'm going to put it into about 16, uh -huh. 17. That'll 
will hold this at a nice, reasonable speed. Hey, we're 2,000. That's the uh, intercept point. I expect that to be what he wants. And he's going to turn us tight in a minute. It'll be a right, expecting a right turn. Yep. Props pull forward. We're going to put on our landing light at this point. All lights are on. We're correct there. I'm going to turn over to the right fuel, the left tank. I'm going to take a little quick note of where we are. Fuel cal 10 6. Yep. That's good. Good there. Minus 10 6. Fortune November, turn right heading 070. 070, right turn, Fortune November. 070. Okay. We're good there. Got the minus 10.6 on the fuel. We're good. So we're now on the fullest tank. That's gas. Undercarriage is going to be coming down. The mixture, I'm going to leave it pretty close to where it is. Uh -huh. uh, but if I do have to go around, I will be putting in full power. Uh -huh. Props full forward. Our switches are good and our belts are all good. Doors, Doors are yep, locked. good. All right. Airspace ahead. All right. We got our towers ready to go. He's got us kind of on an intercept. We'll see. 119, which is getting a little bit fast. So I'm going to start slow. It's still fast. The slowest down. I can, I'll be able to cheat with the autopilot. Now, when I hit the final approach fix, I'm putting the gear down. And once the gear's down, I'm putting in the flaps. Okay. Full flaps, and it's going to give us a nice, controlled, fully ready to land configuration. Uh -huh. All right. Let's let her play. Opening the cowl flaps a little bit. It's hard to open when you're in you're in the air. So, but I'd like. 14 November turn right heading one three zero two thousand till established clear to down at Yankee one six. One right one two zero maintain two thousand until established cleared for the RNAV one six Yankee Fortune November. Roger heading one three zero please. One three zero Fortune November. Yeah, I didn't quite hear him. We are cleared. So now once we come around to this. And hit the approach. The approach is good. Do the heading real quick. Uh -huh. Need to get it finish off climbing, getting onto that heading before it'll. Or I can hit the approach. We're a ways off. The yep. uh, localizer or the lateral is alive. Now hitting the approach, and it's turning in. I see the glide path coming in. Yep. We're good there, and we're 2.2 from Wugat. Which is the final. He's going to hand us off shortly. We're cleared for the approach, and we're going to put this over to 163, 164. All right, we are established, and we're at 100. Fortune November, contact Bellingham Tower 1249. 249 over to Tower. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. Have a good one. Over to Tower. Helicopter 73171, Bellingham Ground, clear to the Gray Army Airfield. By the Kino 6 departure, 10 Cove transition, then as filed. On departure, maintain 3,000. Departure frequency, 132.7. Squawk 7027, stand by on the readback. Bellingham Tower, Bonanza 75, Fort November on RNAV 16 Yankee. Bonanza 7542, November, Bellingham Tower, runway 16, cleared to land. 16, cleared to land, Fort November, thank you. Army Cop 171, All right, Blue is right about there. There's five, that'll give me 500 feet per minute right there. Now, the autopilot's going to hold it, uh -huh. but I'm going to do that. We got green there, we're yep. good. And I'll check down there and down. So we got a double check on that one. Right, the one, seven, one, correct. All right. And the gear's down. I'm now putting in the flaps. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not automated here. Otherwise, I could help you out with that. I do see the runway, and it's also showing up here. Nice. We are on the glide path at this point. Oh, wow. We are on the... Uh, we are doing what we need to do. We've got to pull the power back to about 13, well, about 14, which is good want to make sure she holds that and basically at this point if I were doing a regular approach I would actually um, be managing the uh, airspeed with the pitch uh -huh. 
and the power would be my altitude and my descent rate. Yep. But in this case, I need to manage it with just the power because oh. the autopilot's doing it. Yep. So I can stay at about 80 for now, and I'll just pull it back in a bit. Props full forward. The mixture's again where I want it. All our lights are on one more time. We're on the left fullest tank. We're good there. And we're going down to 363, which is bugged there. And again, if we were to go missed for some ridiculous reason, the climb, we straight out to 700, and then we would climb out to 4,000 or 2,000. And I'm going to leave this as bugged for 2,000, which is what you would use for your, uh, for your go around. Yes. Airspeed's bleeding a little bit more than I wanted, so I'm going to try and keep it around 80 for now. Uh -huh. Just because I got a life, I'd like to get there today. Yes. My goal is to get it down to 76 as we get close. Uh -huh. 1300 and change for 363. We are on the glide path. We are on the course. I see the synthetic representation. And we have a little bit of a wind from the right. Headwind from the right. That explains why we're, we're pointed a little to the right. Uh -huh. All good. Everything's bugged. Everything's in the green. We got our gears still down. I was like, I check it about four times. Yep. I don't want it. I know it's coming, right? The gear up thing is a coming thing, but I don't need it to come any sooner than it needs to. Uh -huh. All right, pulling the power back a bit. Go back close below 16 inches here and see what we're going to get. It's going to be pretty good. 900 for 363. Clearly, unless there was some reason, we should, uh, we are on the visual glide path. We are on the uh, instrument glide path. We can see the runway. Yes. There's absolutely no reason we shouldn't be landing. All our lights are on. Yep. I once did come in without my landing seven, three, landing light on. Seven, one, and, and I'll tell you, yeah, one, it's an interesting echo, thing to practice to, start, Delta to, do, to, to figure out how to do it or to remember how to do it. So, or to realize, you know, I was it, it worked out just fine. It was one of my better landings. I am power, six medevac approaching. All right, right. I'm slowing it, pulling a little more power out. We're going to let her slow down, and it's going to cause it to pitch up like to get her down to 76, uh -huh. across the threshold. One, seven, one, Roger. We are six, very, very North close North to our miss bug. You can see the miss by the uh, DA is bug there. Yep. Six, there we go, there's 76. And it called out airspeed. Now we're at a point, this would be where we would all start going missed at this point. Yep. But, we're gonna land. Brake check. Yep, got compression. Alrighty, I've killed the autopilot. Uh -huh. Minimums, minimums. All right, got control of the plane. Airspeed is in good shape. Today it's a nice one. It is. Not going to make that one. Nope. But I don't need. I pay for the brakes. I'm yep. good. And no, oh, that was the one I wanted. Four two November. Continue down to Taxiway Foxtrot. Left on Foxtrot. Contact ground one two seven point four. Left on Foxtrot and over to ground. Four to November. He said Foxtrot, so that's Echo. They want me all the way down, just oh, so yeah, we're clear. Yeah, yeah. That's the penalty for, for missing the fast turnout. Oh, good. That's Echo, and that's okay. Yep, that's Foxtrot. Nice big runway. Notice I'm not even trying to be on the center line here. Yeah, we've got plenty of width well. and length. And 
watching for our yellow line because it's never good to turn before that. Bad things happen to nice people. Billing half tower on the copter 73171, holding runway 16 at Echo. Copter 73171, Bellingham Tower, runway 16 at Echo, cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 16. Anyway, we are clear here. Turn off our landing light, leave that one on. We're going to bring up the flaps. Cow flaps are open. And we're going to reset the uh, trim. And, all right, let's go through the checklist real quick. Because the other thing, the other thing to do in this case is to clean it out. Okay, after landing, the flaps are up. Cow flaps are open. Landing light is off. That's correct. Taxi light is on. The pedo heat is off, mixture as required, right, and chapter one, trim has been reset. One, contact Victoria Terminal, yep. have a safe flight. Guys. And then transponder. Victoria, so what I'm going to do is set the transponder back to, you can't see that over there, it's not as well lit. Transponder back to 1200. Yep. Alrighty. Now we're going to go over to ground. Yep. Completely on ground. We are at Foxtrot. Bellingham Ground, Bonanza 7542 November at Foxtrot, and we'd like to depart and uh, on the way pick up our IFR clearance if we could. There's 7542 November, Bellingham Ground, turn left on Alpha, runway 16, taxi via Alpha Bravo. Alpha Bravo, left uh, on uh, Alpha Bravo to 16 for 42 November. Number 42 November, say destination. Uh, we're returning to Sierra 50, the Auburn Airport. Number 42 November, Roger, clearance on request. I'll pick it up when we get to the run up, please. Roger, on request means I don't have it yet, so. Ah, uh, Roger. On request, that'll work. I oh. knew, new thing to learn. Yeah. Now I'll try to get over to the middle of the taxi thing just because I shouldn't take the... Uh, I just got a thing about updating the route, which makes me think that they're, uh, he, he's, his request has triggered something. Uh-huh. see. I can do that, and I think it's a little warm. I'll get a little bit of fresh air in here. Yeah. Go down to the run-up. I think the thing that sometimes we don't appreciate as uh, pilot, private pilots and uh -huh. is that when you think about the professionals, you know, they fly these big planes into big airports in and out. They fly basically the same route six tower copy hall. over over, um, uh, over, and over. Yeah, they are. And, you know, we end up going into different places we've never been before. It is. So it's a kind of a, it's an interesting curiosity. It is. All right, passing Charlie, and I think doing uh, instrument approaches at night, I think is actually an added benefit. I think there's something to be learned for everybody there. Oh. Yeah, we always do uh, at night. Interim flights always with my aunt. It's um, add some interesting color to the game. Yeah. Let's see. We should be getting to yeah. It's not the way they drew it, but All right. We should be able to find ourselves. Okay. That looks like a run-up area is in inbound here. Oh. Wait. So. No. And uh, 42 November ground clearance available now whenever you're ready. Yep, it's available and I heard you and I'll get to it in a second. All right. Hey, Sierra 50. Do we get? I want to go and take a quick look at my flight and see what I filed. Because... And we are on time as well. Pardon me? 
Okay, we are 8.30, so. Yep, good timing. Yes. Bellingham Ground, Bonanza 75, Fort November. I'd like to pick up the uh, clearance, IFR clearance back to Sierra 50. Bonanza 75, Fort November, clear to the Sierra 50 airport. By the Kino 6 departure, Penn Cove transition, Penn Cove direct to Payne VOR, that has filed. On departure maintain 3000. Departure frequency 132.7. Squawk 4535. Bonanza 754 to November cleared to the Sierra 50 airport via the Kino 6 departure, Penn Cove transition, then Penn Cove, Payne VOR, then as filed. Climb maintain 3000, contact frequency 132.7 132 and squawk 4535. Plans of 4-2 November, read back, correct? All right, let's see what we can do to make this all work. Okay. Start with the easy one. Four. Okay, 4535, so that's what our transponder is, we're good there. 32.7, 32, which not a surprise, really. Yep. Yep. Now we're going to go back and send this one to the map, and let's go get rid of this real quick, too. I hide that plate. All right, the flight plan shows that. I will send that to the panel. Okay, we'll pick this up over here, activate the new one. That's pain. And Payne Renton, yeah, so I don't know quite why they do that, but okay. Anyway, so now, go back here, let us do the procedure. Departure procedure will be the Kino 6, which I believe is the good one. Runway one, six. Turn 6 is good, and they said the Penn Cove transition. To load it. Make sure, runway 1-6, 600, yep, oh crap, it's that one. Yeah, well. The, the other one is actually an RNAV uh, departure, but uh -huh. fine, whatever. Uh -huh. Then Penn Cove, right, which is where we want to, where we come out, and then they want us to go to Payne. Then as filed, which is Renton, and we will never get to Renton because they're going to vector us at that point. Yep. Which is fine, and that will be fine. We'll load that fruit here. Penn Cove, which, just so we're going to go and look at that plate, we're going to show the plate over here just to make sure we do a verbal. Okay, we're going to be taking off, and it's going to be 164, which is in their heading bug already. So we're good there. And 164 to 600. So 600. And they're going to give us, and they didn't give us any other altitude restrictions, so it's up to 3,000. Yep. So that gives us the 3,000. 32.7, got that. And we got our direction of flight. Okay, and then once we go to 6,000, it's going to do an intercept. So if we go and take a look out here, you'll see it's going to do that. And then when we hit 600, it's going to have us go effectively direct uh -huh. to yep. intercept. Yeah, yep. an intercept course. Okay, so we're good there. Yes. We've got everything set up that way. We feel confident. We are squawking correctly. Yep. We've got an altitude bug. We've got a heading bug. We've got our departure loaded correctly. We believe this could be the thing. We don't need to do any run-up at this point. We're in good shape. Yep. We have the tower frequency here. We're going to go away from there. We've got the ATIS. Let's quit. Visual approach in east. Make sure. Slow program in effect for Seattle to come International Airport. Advise on initial contact. You have Quebec. Oh, Quebec. Which is two nine or nine or two, but I want to verify one more. Time. International Airport, information Quebec. Zero two five three Zulu observation. Wind calm. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Blow one two thousand. Temperature nine or two point seven. Altimeter two nine or nine or two. Confirmed. Runway one six. And then the next one is going to be one eighteen zero. Yep. For our good friend SeaTac. Yes. All right, over to here. We're good there. We're on ground, but we're going to do and uh, throw on all our lights. Yep. We're going to go up to the runway and call for ready to go. We 
you're confirmed we're on Bellingham Tower. Yep. Good. Bellingham Tower, Bonanza 754 to November, holding short runway 16, ready departure with Quebec. Bonanza 754 to November, Bellingham Tower, hold short runway 16, landing track. Fort November, holding short 16. Turn these down a little bit. Maybe there it is, the yeah. Base, yeah. There we go. I'm sitting there going, where is he? But okay. off my lights. Again, never hurts to be friendly to others. Uh -huh. Bellingham Tower, put out of 532 Charlie Victor. Sure, 532 Charlie Victor, Bellingham Tower. 532 Charlie Victor, information to back like walk up for landing. Or to Charlie Victor, enter report midfield left downwind, runway 16. Midfield left downwind, enter and report to Charlie Victor. I'm going to just creep a little bit. Uh huh. Just because I can. Yeah, we got. Oh, yeah, it's a big airport. Plenty of room. And uh, the sensitive area is clearly ahead of me. Yes. Oh, well, that guy was a touch and go. Other guys at the Whatcom VOR. There is five Inky fly runway heading. Report leaving Galvin. November runway 16 cleared for takeoff. Runway 16 cleared for takeoff. 754 to November. Thank you. Okay, mixture's full rich. Props full forward. Yep. Got all our lights on, and we've got our squawk on, yep. and we got our nav on. Yep. We got our altitude and headings bugged. Looking good. All right, and we're going to be going for 600 feet before we expect to turn. Find the middle. It's the middle so far out there. Uh -huh. All right. All right. Good there. Airspeed's alive. And there's 70. And good climb. Here it's coming up. 164 on the heading to 600. Bonanza 42 November, contact Victoria Terminal. Have a safe flight, good day. Over to Victoria Terminal, thank you. You have a good day, too. There we go, and we're supposed to climb there. Okay. Victoria Terminal, Bonanza 7542 November, 1000 for 3000, just off Bellingham. 7542 November, Victoria Terminal identified, climb to 5000. 5000 ident, 42 November. Victoria Terminal, this is 172, Gulf Road, Mike Oscar, 3500 over to Maine, solution to transit for your zoo, zone en route to Qualcomm. Yeah, vertical speed. So that's called Victoria, it's not going to somebody else uh, squawk it in, say again. Okay. Uh, yeah, 
Southwest 172, Gulf Rock, Mike Oscar, 3,500 over Shamanus, Lucid District, France, at three years old, 4,500 on route two, welcome. Gulf Rock, Mike Oscar, Victoria, Jamila, identified 4,500 approved. 4,500, Rock, Mike Oscar. Jazz 167, they got five in the circuit, so turn right to heading of 225, just to widen you out a bit. Roger that, heading 225, Jazz 167. Oscar Sierra Quebec, surveillance service terminates, so you're cleared on route. If you want further flight following, call Mox Terminal on 1237. Yeah, Oscar Sierra Quebec. Gear is up. Pull out a little bit of that mixture just so we don't clog her up. Climb at 2550. Alright. Climbing on route. Looks good there. Five for five. Reset heading bug. In a little more throttle. And now we're direct Kino. After that, it's definitely going to take us to Denhart or whatever that is, and then that will show us to Penn Cove as well. Yep. Penn Cove tra tra transition has, in fact, been loaded. Jazz 167, square turn to final, not below 3,000 until established on final. Third visual approach, runway 09. We'll square it up uh, until final, up below 3 till final. And clear for the visual 09, Jazz 167. Jazz 167, Roger, contact Victoria Tower now, 119 or 7. We're on the left tank still. 42 November, contact with the approach, 120.7. 20.7, 42 November, thank you. 207. Good evening, would be approached, Bonanza 75, 42 November is 4,000 for 5,000. Bonanza 7542, November, would be approach altimeter 2995. 995, 14 November. All right, 995. He didn't change our, uh, I filed for 7, but uh, he didn't change it, so we may be going back at 5. It's, it's um, some of the best parts about actually doing real IFR flying uh -huh. is understanding why, what, what makes them give you what altitudes. Uh -huh and what restrictions they have. Yeah. And when you start trying to plan to get over to, let's say, um, uh, what it is, uh, Montana. Oh, uh, what's the one? Oh. Anyway, getting into Montana. Yep. Um, I keep, I got Bellingham in my head. It's the other B one over there. Oh, crap. And then the 4-2 November, expect 5,000 is your final altitude. 5,000 will be our final, thank you. Now I just gotta go look. Missoula. Falls. Ah, oh, there it is. Billings. That's the Billings. one. Billings. Huh. Anyway, finding a route to Billings is an interesting thing. When you start looking at the altitude you need to go if you're in IFR, because uh -huh. I love doing IFR. I don't have to think about airspace. Yes. It it relieves me a lot of pressures. Yep. And I can be focused on flying the airplane. Yes. And and it just it's just so the regimentation makes me feel there, go very good. Yes. All right. So there's topping out at five thousand. I'm gonna dial her back to two twenty two. Let's pull back our, our RPMs to twenty four and change. And then let's dial our. Dial our mixture back. I had a buddy once show me, I was very nervous originally about leaning an airplane. Uh -huh. The buddy took me up and he said, um, oh, let's go play with it. It's just a, just a noise control. I said, what? What? 
We went in a Cessna 150. Dragon 096 miles. And we, uh, field performance check. we simply went up and we went to about like 5,000 feet uh -huh. or 5,500. Uh -huh. And he said, just pull it out. What happens when you go too far? It's quiet. Yeah. And when you put it back in, it gets noisy again. Unless you do dramatic stuff, the prop's not going to stop spinning. So it's kind of nice right. when you're. Because the one thing we have, we have more time when you're doing a real IFR flight yeah. to spend the time to actually lean the uh, the engine. Sure, yeah. Like it's getting rough right there. Yeah. So I'll bring it back to about 12.4, 12.5 maybe. Nice. And it'll give me a pretty good speed. We're not very high, so we're not going to get very good performance, but. Yeah, that's quite decent about, yeah. I mean, I can't really bitch about anything in this plane. There's, yeah, yeah. Uh, everything's nice. And, We're going to fly right over Whidbey at 5,000. Yep. That'll be okay. All right, so we're pretty comfortable we're here, and that's going to give us pain, and we don't think we're going to get anything else, but we did file Renton. Yes. So I'm going to do that. I'm guessing, if, if I were going to guess correctly, we're not going to go to pain. We're going to go down Penn Cove. We're going to go down the west side of the... Uh, the complex here, uh -huh. because that'll set us up for a uh, going from like Tacoma Narrows across. Armor uh, Captain 171, so contact, that'll approach 128.5. No. We'll see. 128.5, yeah, oh, for Army My game is going to be, I want to get the uh, Dragon Zero 9 on Alpha in there. Uh -huh. I think it went up uh, two weeks ago with somebody and got three approaches and a hold in. So this is just, this is again, just pure fun being in the IFR system. Yes, yes. Would be approach, Cherokee 4391 Julia. Make sure I, uh, uh, let's see if I've got my stuff done Cherokee here. 4391 Julia, would be approach. Okay, cruise. So throttle is set, prop set, mixture set, cow flaps I just put in. Instruments are set, two nine or nine or five, we just got. Yep, check it zero, and uh, fuel is around the proper tank. We're currently, we've only taken five gallons off that tank at this point, 10.5 in the other one. So we'll figure out where we are when we get to the other side. Get to the side. Uh -huh. Most likely, the check other zero, one's nine, right going to be the fullest tank, is yeah. my expectation at this yeah. point. Just because we've got a headwind in this round. All right, so we're good there. Yes. Cordis should be off our right wing, almost. The airport never landed there. Yeah, see, I never been in there before. Uh -huh. I just flew around. Around that would be. Yeah. The engine on this bird is, what do we got on the engine now? Oh, they don't tell you when you, oh no, it's on the main. Thanks. On the main. Yeah, so 2253 on the engine. Uh-huh. It's a TBO of 1,700 hours. Oh, wow. Now, what's interesting is it also doesn't use oil. Well, it's not true. It uses oil, but it put in 11 quarts. Uh -huh. It's a 12-quart capacity. Uh-huh. Right now, it's at about 10 and a half. Uh-huh. And it's got almost 30 hours on it, and I put in no extra oil. Wow. And the trick is to realize that in these engines, right, if it's got a 12-quart sum, uh -huh. it can do, like, I think 3.5, 3.6 is its true minimum it's been certified to. Uh -huh. Not that you ever want to get down there, but yeah. if you put more than 11 in, it's just going to be a lot more to splash out. Oh, wow. So if you leave it at... so. Don't go to 12. You just yeah. be put. Eleven. It'll go down to 11 real quick. Yep. The trip from 11 down to 10 and a half took 30 hours. But if I put, if I tried to keep it at 12, uh -huh. I'd be pouring oil into it all the time. Oh wow! That's the thing that's important to realize. And then the other part is, 
If I were to fly it today and come out tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., it'll actually show, it might register nine and a half. And I, or maybe nine and three quarters or close to 10 and go, oh my gosh, it used a lot of oil on the flight. No, no. Wait another eight hours, the rest of the oil will settle down. Oh, wow. And you'll see. So there's a lot of times people are real knee jerk. So I'm not going to add oil into this engine until it gets to nine. Oh. And I'm going to be changing the, I got to change the oil at 20, 2255 anyway. Annual's coming up in early May. Uh -huh. uh, so yeah, you know, then it's, so I might just, I might just hold on and change the oil just to the, near the mid to end of April. And I'll have gone, you know, maybe 35 hours uh -huh. on, with no makeup oil. Oh wow, that is nice. And, and it's, and, and it, there's little places where oil drips on this plane. Uh -huh. yeah. So it's actually got little bits of oil going out, but it's not an issue. Wow. And, you know, oil analysis says it's all good. So I'm pretty, pretty stoked. It's a good, good bird. Pretty good engine. Yeah. Back to the slow time. Let's see. So 69 to our destination, which is fine. 10 cove in 6.8. We're getting 151 across the ground. We were being interfered with by uh, by our good friend. Now, for fun, we can speed it up. Because I can go to 2,500, and we can just go to 75% power. to give it some more juice here. There we go. Now yeah, watch our, that ought to pick up our speed a little bit. Dragon 09, we have your approach radar contact. I maintain 3,000, leaving 2,000, turn right heading 040. Sixty-three now. It's going to pick up a bit. See, we're getting on our cylinder head temperatures. So our cylinder temps are good warm on the EGT, but it's otherwise good. Yep. So 166. So, you know, we're we're getting up, getting an extra eight or nine knots. Now, is it worth it? Burning 15 gallons an hour from the previously 12 and a half. Uh, eh, not really going to change much. No. So, they say I tend to, I tend to back it off. Yeah, that's better. Doesn't do, doesn't achieve anything that's interesting. Nope. I can really back it off to like actually below 2400. Dragon 09, turn right heading 070. How will this approach terminate? Roger. There's the Pen Co. Now we're going to the Pain VOR. Uh huh. We won't get there. Just ain't going to get there. All right. And once we level out, reset our heading bug. Three nine one Juliet traffic one o'clock three miles northwest on altitude indicates two thousand six hundred. Nine one Juliet on traffic. Roger. Wind two two zero at six. 
Visibility one zero. Sky clear below one two thousand. Temperature nine two point five. Altimeter two nine nine eight. ILS and charted visual approach runways one six right and one six left. Approach in use. In runway one six left. Departing aircraft and and brief numbers. Both runways run six left and run six center. Simultaneous approaches in use. Boeing Field Airport and Seattle Airport. Traffic below you on final. Flow restrictions in effect for Francisco. Advise on initial contact. You have information echo. 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 Okay, we have echo. And uh, that's, it's 858, 858. so I, I will check it again just yes. to make sure. Yes. But as I say, it's at 53 to 58 zone. Uh -huh. That's the magic place. Yes. So we do see, we do have some clouds. Yeah, the digital aid has come out six minutes ago, so we believe it to be good. Yes. I do not. Track is here, nine five miles north. I do not expect. There, don't be by fancy light on. The next thing's going to happen is going to give us a new frequency, which I can either type it in or... Yep. I can do my best. Okay. I have tank still. 7.2, so I do expect we'll be... It, it's one of those ones, if I don't change the tank, they're going to both basically be even. Oh. They're going to be really, really close. Oh, wow. And with each one having 37 gallons in it, uh -huh. and... And as of 14 November, contact Seattle Approach 128.5. 28.5 for 14 November. Thank you. All right. And approach. Good evening, approach. Bonanza 75, 14 November, level 5,000. And 7514 November, Seattle Approach, welcome back. Seattle altimeter is 2998. 9998, and we have Echo over at uh, SeaTac. 14 November, thanks. And do you want vectors just to the east side of SeaTac and go down for the visual? Do you want the RNAV approach? Uh, we would appreciate the RNAV, please. 14 November, you can expect the RNAV approach. Thank you. Ta-da! Which is going to mean he's going to vector us in a bit down the the uh, west side, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think so too. But uh, it does mean, that means he doesn't have to cross over the approach path or anything like this, so just my expectation. 14 November, would you prefer uh, to go out to the east side? I'll have to take you as wide as Tiger Mountain, about uh, I don't know, about seven miles uh, wide of SeaTac, or I can take you to the west side over Vashon Island and down to uh, Orton for the approach. Uh, 14 November, whatever is easiest for you. 14 November, Roger, let's just continue on your present heading and maintain 5,000. Present heading and 5,000, 14 November. That's a heading. He has now given us a heading at this yes. point. Just confirming for confirming for the audience in my head as well as maybe you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it means. But we same. got, we got uh, maintained present heading. We're no longer on a course. Yes. So I switched it over and maintained 5,000. And then 14 November, you have traffic at 10 o'clock and 5 miles, so southwest bound. Type in altitude unknown, it's the primary target only. 14 November, we're looking. Let's see, what do we got? See them going there across our front. That one. That's 2003, settle approach. I Good see evening, a flash one red light. light. Yeah, I see the one over there. Don't Alaska 569, he's maintain 7,000. If there's not a flashing red light over about 1 o'clock, you see it? Uh, oh, is that a very faint one? 
Uh, not the the towers, but a bit to the left of the towers. So the uh, but oh, there's a one straight ahead of us. But I, about two o'clock. Two o'clock. Okay. Below, right Let's below. Let's see. Two o'clock would actually line up with that target. Where I think it actually now. Oh yeah, I see it. American two yeah. zero zero three. Right there. American yep, right approach. Good evening. Spec one six right. You guys are aware of I now. see the one over here too. Uh, yep. three, there's also Horizon 2003, uh, about 10 miles ahead. 14 November, we have the traffic. America 2003, copy. 14 November, thank you. I don't have an altitude readout on them. Are they above or below you? Uh, below by about 2,000 feet. 14 November, thank you. Best guess, of course. Alaska 569, contact settle final 133.65. Good day. So we got both got, got the other two, uh, 2,800 below us. Yeah, this guy below us, it, we are in the class Bravo Vale, aren't we? No, we're not. That's why. Yeah. So, yeah. They're just a target. And the bef the descent, we will mix fixture throttle fuel proper tank. Cowl flaps will be closed. They're going to stay closed. They are now. We got the ATIS. We already got it. We got the altimeter, and it's correct as per the ATIS as well. And then pre-landing, we'll do the brake check. The landing lights will be on. The autopilot will be off. And we'll do a full-on gums check, and we're going to cross the, the uh, threshold at 76. Uh -huh. That's the claim so far. So we're making 157 versus 100 and maybe 66. Yeah, around there. Not much difference. Yeah. Pain field. I was expecting him to give us take us down this side, but you know what? I'll see what he does. Yeah. I'm, I, I said whatever, Alaska, whatever's nine, easiest, so evening, mainly because I'm track. curious. And we know we can expect the RNAV. And it's not much else. I'm guessing we're going to get, well, I'm not 100% sure. We'll wait and see, but man, I'm not even going to load it. Uh -huh. I don't even know where he's going to send us. So, save a few keystrokes someday. Okay, somebody's making an approach into uh, pain. Uh -huh. I see him. Uh-huh. You see some of the haze. Building. Yeah, it's hazy today. Yeah. yeah. I, went that, to, I went down to Shehela's today. It was well, okay. even worse down there. Yeah. Well, it's about to go back to being typical crappy weather. Yep. What we have is, you know, six degrees out here, so oh, it's not, we're not dealing with icing. Yep. Before I'll tell you, icing is such a predominant thing up here. Yep. Horizon 2003, Horizon, descend and maintain 7,000.
And it's going to take us down the far side. Okay. Two thousand three horizon contact settle final one three three point six five. Good day. American two zero zero three American decent to maintain seven thousand. the way the guy referred to Tiger Mountain and everything. It's uh, quite the locals. It is, yeah. Alaska 307, set approach, good evening, expect 21 to try. I think I'm going to load the approach, but I'll load it from Sea Duck. That will give me the ability to take any of the, uh, any of the pieces of it I want. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure they're going to American two, zero, might zero, give us, three, American contact they're going to most likely one, give us a point direct five, to yeah. Orton, which will give us the course reversal. Yes. As, so that's fine. Which we'll see. They're just going to be, he's not going to give us much of a vector for it. And that's fine. Course reversal is an excellent, excellent thing to play with. Yeah. Well, nobody's complained about our uh, maintaining our heading. Uh -huh. So there was this um, time a few years back they were predicting Alaska, four, seven, predicting the northern lights would be visible oh. and it was going to be on this Friday night and lined up some friends my wife got excited we all uh -huh. just really excited and I went out Thursday night got night current and everything oh. just to make sure we had a beautiful flight didn't see anything oh, no. beautiful night beautiful just just crisp yeah. Yeah. everything was amazing and then we ended up with um, Turn off the lower one, why not? Just realize I didn't. Um, but no, and it was just everything. Right, 439 but, contact. But so nothing was seen. And when we landed, apparently just before we took off, they said, oh, it turns out it's not going to happen tonight. Uh, Seattle, good evening. Four, five, it's still, six, still good. Four, five, five, no. It was fun. Five, six, 40, yeah. Go ahead. Just departed Boeing and the Skyline going to Friday Harbor, please. Right, stand by. Oh, well. Delta 535, shuttle approach, good evening, expect 1-6, right? 45640, remain below the Bravo, clock 4705. 4705, below the Bravo, 45640. 45640, is ready to contact over Pier 91, off stream case 1600, the set altimeter is 299 or 8. 208, 45640, that's me, climbing 4.5 underneath. Thanks. Four two November turn right heading of one six zero. Right one six zero four two November. Alaska six fifty five. Descent maintain seven thousand. Alaska 
Good, 655, contact Seattle Funnel, 133.65, good day. Cloud ahead of us, but we're still at five degrees centigrade. Yes, it's fine. Doing good. And I had to replace the pedo tube because the heater is integral to it, and the heater went out. And it, I, I saved five hundred dollars by getting one that a guy had brand new on a shelf, but it's still a twenty-five hundred dollar pedo oh, tube. Oh man, that's. There, it's a very uh, seldom needed part. Rather irritating. Not like things are super affordable on an airplane, so no. you go, you know, but but it's kind of worth it in a way. Kind of like, you know, damn it. Anyway, so I know the pedo heat's working. I found that it failed, and I only say that to you because they do fail. They do fail, yeah. And that's uh, why you, you, how do you, you find test out? They, they just don't heat up. Don't heat up. Oh. Actually, in the other part, too, with the power, Alaska, three when you have the draw on this, uh -huh. like if I were to turn it on right now, you won't see anything happen here because yeah. the alternator can handle it. Yeah. There's just so very little draw on the yeah. system. But if the engine was off, that'll jump to like 8, eight oh, amps. Wow. Wow. So 8 to 12 Four, five, amps. 640, you could in Seattle class Bravo airspace if you need Significant. it. Significant. 440, cleared on the Bravo. Thanks, sir. Yeah, 440, cleared on the Bravo. Thanks, sir. on the map. Do a quick brief on this. We already got the one, the ATIS. We're yes. good there. Circling. We're not going to circle. All right. We're good there. Right. 494 Seattle approach. Good evening. Expect 2163. Seattle approach 2385. I'm going to give it a shot in the dark. 2385. Let's see if that's going to be it. All right. Uh, not going to use clearance delivery in 22975. We should be entering this whole mess at. Uh, I'm guessing 3,000. Yep. Bonanza 4-2 November, contact settle approach on 119.2. Enjoy your day. 119.2, you enjoy your day too. Thanks. I was close. Good evening, approach Bonanza 7542 November, level 5,000, heading 160. November 7542 November Seattle approach altimeter 2998 and uh, I was on the line when you checked in um, you, you just want the, the RNAV GPS alpha approach in Auburn affirmative RNAV uh, alpha into Auburn thank you do you want the Vedra support straight in or do you, do you want Orton inbound uh, whatever is easiest for you we'll take it Roger. and uh, we'll actually cancel as soon as we get under the class Bravo as well Heading 040 for American 1471. November 42, November copy. All right. That way they know that we're not going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah. yeah. So my guess. My guess is going to give us the uh, course reversal. That'll be fun. November 61891, turn right in anyway. 360, and do you have a. Uh, 3000. Question. Horton down to just as 2100, which is a not is over seven miles. Uh -huh. The nasty one is Roger, just, just to the Caxam, which is almost two thousand feet, and it's in 2.3 miles, so it's a dive hard. Yes. We'll cancel IFR before Gista, yep. just because. Right, nine, one, uh, once we're 2500, we'll cancel. Uh -huh. See if we can save them the speech. Anyway, and we're going down to nine 920, but. Once we get uh, close to a thousand, we're just going to be turning around, doing a, most likely a straight in. We will, we will try to get the uh, the weather there. And Twenty one seven one connect tower. Twenty two eight. We'll try and get the weather just in case while we're on the yep. inbound. Just to see. A little cloudy. Fourteen seventy one. Climbing maintain one five thousand. Climbing maintain one five fifteen thousand. Don't think we're going to get any uh, entertainment. But nope. I think so. I don't see a reason to turn on the pedo heat right now. Yep. Back off the throttle a little bit, just in case you get a little bit of turbulence in there. I think some of the best parts of this um, this experience around here is the microclimates. It is. 
there are just some weird things that happen, so. Yeah, it's good to, you know, make decisions, you know, to go or not go. Yeah, and you just start to go, what the heck? American 1471, proceed to ignore me on course and contact the center 127.05. All right, Bridges, direct uh, Normie on course in 12705 for American 1471. Hey, we're 1605,000. Cruising along. The Renton's a little ways off, but not, it should be, there's Renton in this one. Yeah, it's just up there. Can't quite see, I think it's down. Problem having reading glasses. Uh, oh, now it's uh, looking for the. Now it's the core. I see. I do see the the. Oh uh, yeah. yeah there's the push. there's the beacon. I saw it. Yep. There yep. it is. Yep. Okay, off the wing. Just judging at night the distance. I'm a four two zero three Papa. Is there a question? Departure. Hello. Horizon twenty one twenty three two thousand. Climb seven thousand. Horizon 2123, departure, red or contact, climb and maintain 15,000. Climb 15,000, Horizon 2123. November 03, Papa, say again, your destination. Roger. Number zero three Papa Squad four six two seven. Number zero three Papa Squad four six two seven. I'm guessing this is going to be our right, three Papa. We're to contact three miles south of Bremerton altimeter. Two nine. Guessing it's our nine. last one there. Yep. Let's try November eighth. Now our one cross piece is at two thousand cleared. R now runway three five approach. I don't think it's going to do it, but we'll see. Fury rings thirteen sixty four. Seattle departure. Rudder contact. Carbon maintain one five thousand. Which fuel tanks? What do we got? Up? Where are we at? 7.6 out of there. November 4 to November. Turn right heading 180. Descent of 18, 4,000. 180 and 4,000 for 4 to November. Cessna 891, change my frequency 120.1. Let's pull out some power so we don't get too fast here. back up to about 25, 24 and change. Gives a little more predictable slowdown. Yep. That's my feeling. I'm gonna put on the lower landing light. Uh -huh. So all our lights are on at this point. Yes. Our fuel is not quite ready to switch. Uh -huh. But our mixture, I'm gonna put it in a little bit. Prop is not ready yet. Horizon 21, we're close to ready. Proceed direct to Zadon. And our cow flops are still closed. Going down to 4,000, 42 to 4 to 4. Okay, good. Bearings 1364, proceed direct to Suma. We're on the chart now. See if I'll load or load approach, and it should put us through the hold. So uh -huh. it's going to do that. Just 
that's my expectation. Yep. Confirmed. There's 4,000. Put a little more juice in there. Direct organ cleared, um, cleared for the approach. Yes. He won't say straight in. Probably say descend 3,000 as well. Which I'm going to preload 3,000 in here. Because it's during 1364, contact center 126.6. 6. Martin and 12 and a half. Departure, route of contact, climb and maintain one five thousand. See a little bit of scud that we're going through. Yep. Oh no, IMC. Oh, oh my God, IMC. The temperature is so good. Seven, seven degrees. November fourteen, November. Turn right, heading two zero zero. Right two zero zero, fourteen November. I can, and I bought a pedo heat. I'm going to put it on just for a kick. Yeah. No sense getting into trouble. Yes. All righty. Dang, it's almost real IMC. It is. All right, I am going to switch tanks at this point. Uh -huh. It's in the detent. All right, going over here, fuel calculation, 12.5, so it's definitely a good range. Uh-huh. Okay, we're on the right tank. Good there. We are nine miles from Horizon 21 at 98, proceed direct to Suma. And we're eight miles away, so I'm going to start to slow Alaska down. Alaska 1292, departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 15,000. November 4 to November, just to maintain 2,500. 2,500, 4 to November. Okay, that's a little lower, but okay. Yep. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, he's going to maybe give us vectors. Oh! Spooky! I don't know if I've ever... Position vectors, my best guess. Ah, it's not going to let me load it because of the uh, where it's at. Uh -huh. so I'm going to load and activate it just because. He's going to bring us in at 2,500. Pretty close. Ju okay. All right, as soon as we're established, we're going down to 2,100. Alaska 10 departure, rudder contact. Expect okay. higher shoulder for crossing traffic. I'm slowing us down. This getting now we're gonna have a fun time because I don't want to be fast on this one. There's props more forward than I fixed usually. Thirty-two down for twenty-five. Dropping eight hundred. He's got he's slamming us. I could have asked, but let's see what we can do to save this. 1292, proceed direct Suma. We're under the class Bravo now. Yep. So. Shadow departure, good evening. Rise 2376, 2000, climb to 7000, mountain 2. Rising 2376, departure, rudder contact, climb and maintain 15000. 15000, rise 2376. 
November 754 to November. Turn right heading 310. Maintain 2500 to establish on a final approach course. And you're cleared for the RNAV GPS Alpha approach in Auburn. Turn right 310 and clear. maintain 2500 cleared for the approach. RNAV Alpha. Horizon 21 at 98, contact center 126.6. Good afternoon, or good evening, approach 274. 274, go ahead. And approach, oh, well, okay, slowed her down nicely. Uh -huh. 274, roger. Uh, and in fact, just a... Uh, hey, he's got us coming around. At this time, um, 2500. in that area, if you can, no further south of your current area, you can yeah. start can your descent. speed up a little bit. All right, and uh, 274 will initiate a descent at this time. Okay, yep. Can that all drive? 14 yes. November, we're planning on canceling uh, in the air or on the ground on frequency 123.85. Uh, 14 November, we'll go ahead and cancel with you right now. Thank you. To remember, copy that. IFR cancellation is received. Service are terminated. Squad VFR, change of price approved. Have a good night. Thanks. Have a good night. Too. Horizon 398, contact the center one. Over here. Let's also go over here real quick. Vertical track. Alrighty. We are inbound. I'm just going to cancel that. Because we are getting close to the final approach fix. And we're about to go inbound. There we go. And I want to start that descent because I want to make sure we're not gaining any speed. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't like uh -huh. this approach to save my life. All right, I'm not going to do the autopilot at this point. I'm going to do it myself. Okay, just, uh, we're 1.9 from just As soon as we hit just we got to drop like a rock to 1140. Yes. All righty. Dropping down, so i got to get down to 2100 at the moment busy following that glide path, and it's uh -huh. not what I need to do on this one. That's advisory and not trusted yes. on this particular approach. Put the prop full forward at the moment. Mixture is set. We're on the right gas. we got all that. Switches are on. Seat belts are on. We're good there. Yes. And just as where we're going to drop the gear like a rock, there's 2100. Holding 2100 till we get to Gista and point two. Uh -huh. We're gonna drop like we just don't want to. All right, just uh, there we go. All righty. Drop like a frickin' rock. Wow. Come on, Caxam. Gears down. Verified flaps are in. Valve flaps are open even though they don't need to be. Going down for 1140. Nice. Might as well do one on a manual, I guess. And once we pass that, we're going down to 920, which is on the minimums already. Yep. There's basically 11 and change. There's 1140. Oh. Holy crap, it did it even oh. better than I thought. Wow. All righty. Nice. We're on the correct thing, so let's... Yep. Keep it above. There's the lights are on. I have the airport. Trying to get back to where I was. I've dropped too low. Oh, good. I got casual. Watching the uh, watching the uh, airspeed is a big thing right now. Uh -huh. We got a good stout wind. Look at that wind. Look nice. how much of a calculation I've got in there. Wow. There's Caxam. We're good. So I'm going to consider this a dive down. We're set up. Auburn traffic, Bonanza 14 November is final runway 34, full stop, Auburn. Let's just do a quick check now. Minimums, minimums. Not hearing the say weather. Huh, nothing. Yeah. Okay, we're going to try it and see what happens. Hello. Ah, it's oh. too, too far away. I know. 
Niner. Right. Runway closure April 29th through June 3rd, 2024. All right. We're on the glide path. I'm going to try that one more time. 500. Auburn Municipal Airport Automated Advisory. Wind 170 at 4 knots. Ah. Temperature 10 Celsius. 2.7 Celsius. Altimeter 3000. Runway closure April 29th through June 3rd, 2024. I'm going to do this this way then. Sure, yeah. Auburn. Let's make sure I'm on the Auburn traffic. Bonanza 14 November is upwind runway 34. We're going to turn around and uh, make left traffic for runway 16, Auburn. Isn't that interesting? Interesting. It just changed. Well, it, it was the, ability, the inability to get the right information until it's too late. Yeah. Here, make my turn because I want to stay on this side of the airport. Auburn traffic, Bonanza 14 November is effectively left downwind runway 34. We're going to make a uh, turn around over in the downwind section and come back and join the right downwind for runway 16, Auburn. Okay, there's the. that much power in here. We're good. Let's go out on the out here on the 45. Uh -huh. We're going to do a loop around, almost like a course reversal, I guess. Yeah. Alrighty, well that was fun. That was I was I was kind of irritated that I didn't have the uh, the information until we were very close. Yeah, they yeah, we won't, we didn't pick up till like Yeah. Kind of annoying. Sure, final, yeah. Go a little bit further. Auburn traffic finance fortune November is making a U turn for a right forty five entry for runway one six Auburn. That's a Auburn traffic up there. True Max is approximately four miles to the west. We're at uh, 800. We're going to be transitioning northbound. We're headed for the water towers now. I got that 45 traffic in sight. There we go. Auburn traffic, Bonanza 4 to November is on the right 45, turning for right downwind, one ray, one six, full stop, Auburn. All righty. Nice. Well, that yeah. makes it more fun. Yeah. All right, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because I like my lights. Lights are on. Lights are on. Very good. There's the, uh, I don't know what, what is this? Uh, this is Highway 5, isn't it? 167. Is that 167? Oh, yeah, it's 167, right. Yeah. Keep forgetting where I am. I'm in the air. I don't really care about the, the road. Sarah. The road, so. Auburn traffic, Bonanza, Fortune, Vembers, right downwind runway 16, full stop, Auburn. Little bumpy on the ridges. Alrighty. Main suspended. I don't really care anymore. Yep. Alrighty. There's the runway. There's the approach end. So uh -huh. we're putting in our gear again. And throwing in some flaps. Good. Getting a nice little kick there. Auburn traffic, Bonanza 14 November, right base, runway 16, full stop, Auburn. We're getting a tailwind now, too, yep. so I'm going to keep on turning. Gear is down, verified. Yes. Double. Down. Yep. yep. We're a bit high, but we're going to just cut power here and. Auburn traffic, Bonanza 14 November, turning final runway 16, full stop, Auburn. Auburn traffic, copter 2 room X rays over the water towers, 900, we're descending to 600, transitioning north, Auburn. All right. 
We are descending. Yep. And we're dropping airspeed nicely. We'll catch the visual shortly. Yes. All right. All gears up. Yep. Our gears down. Yep. We're good there. Way is definitely assured at this point. Not as nice as it could have been, though. I did better in Bellingham. Auburn traffic, Bonanza Fort of November is cleared of the runway, Auburn. All right. Cow flaps, flaps are up. Upper landing lights off. We're good there. Pedo heat can come off. We're good there. These can stay on for now. Trim is reset. Yep. Let's now just make sure we're idling pretty. Clear to taxi. Yes. I'm not going to refuel tonight. Oh. But I will. Uh, I know who's using it next. Me. Get <laughs> there. Well, there you go. I know. That was nice. fun. I think, I think it's really cool to sometimes do a. Uh, a real flight in the system. Yes. I think I think sometimes we don't appreciate just how much that's interesting. Uh-huh. And it's so different from training. Yes. And I think that's the thing. So let's see. We're going to turn this off.